Hello, welcome to day 132, Make It Songbringer. And today I'm working on a faster entity component system. So I've written, rewritten the entity component system to use a plain old data arrays rather than maps to look up components. And I'm hoping that this improves the speed overall. So before I did a little profiling test and um, most of the time that it spends, like if I put a bunch of different blobs on one screen, um, look at that, 50% of the time it spends over 10 seconds is spent here in collision system get collision. And a lot of it here is just getting the, the pointer of position components, which is which was done with maps. So I'm kind of redoing all that. And, and today's stream is kind of early. I have a dentist appointment today, so that's why the live stream is so early. I'm like hours and hours and hours earlier than usual. So I hope, um, hope uh, so. Oh, what's up, Alex Peta? Howdy. How you doing? Hey, Mars of Power, what's up? Howdy. How you guys? Oh, I'm working on the entity component system. So, um, entity component system used to be done with maps and uh, looking up things out of the maps took forever. So I'm doing some optimizations today. Um, to the entity component system. So like for example this this bit here before when it was calling get collision and then put position component get this is taking up a huge chunk of the actual total time spent. So I'm thinking this could be a lot faster with plain old arrays and that's why I'm doing an experiment here to see if this works. But now I'm just trying to get it to actually work again because I broke a lot by doing this big O day basically yeah uh-huh so yeah it's kind of uh, totally early like usually I don't stream you know for another five hours or so but um I have a dentist appointment today so today this is the only time I can do this so I've got this little I got an idea here on what's wrong let me show you what's what's um what the game is actually doing right now, um, what what's basically broken, and then I'll show you that you get an idea of what I'm trying to fix, basically. <clears throat> so you can see all the entities started out okay right there. Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah, they're slow it is for sure. Every time you do a map lookup, it takes time. So this is just using plain old arrays. This is the for loop now for arrays. It just loops straight over the minimum ID to the maximum ID. And that is going to be way faster. So you can see when I when I run the game, everything is cool at first. And then, boom, it just suddenly all the entities are in the middle of the screen. And I can warp out of there. And it's okay. I don't know what it is, but something's wrong with the um, systems. Because then when I walk to this screen here, everything's cool. I can fight all these enemies. But as soon as um, Jib starts scanning these enemies, it's like he's scanning them off the screen. And he's gone. So Jib has disappeared. So there's a lot of issues going on with this entities. Everything is kind of broken right now. Oh, right. So I might have done all this for no reason. Yeah. What's up, Ginger Kiwi? Yeah, I, I think you might be right about that. You might be totally right. I might actually run this, and then all of a sudden, there's no performance improvement. But at least I tried. So, okay. Well... I'm gonna try and get this to work anyways, just to um, just to profile it and see if anything did improve. Because there's also dynamic casting that's going on, and the dynamic casting 
takes time. Yeah, I'm using an unordered map. I know it's hashed for sure. <clears throat> um, I th <clears throat> How would I know? Um, before last night I was using an, just a regular unordered map. Um, unordered map. Let's see. Yeah, I was definitely using a hash. I was just using a regular unordered map, and by default, they are hashed. Okay, so that's that's noted. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep on this path and see if this actually what this actually ends up as. Um, see, it's not just the. This is entity get component is the one that's doing this this hash lookup. A lot of it, see, a lot of time is getting sucked up in the dynamic casting as well. See, five percent there, five percent there, everywhere. There's all this dynamic casting going on. And there needn't be. So I think that can be improved as well. That can be. I might end up, this might end up actually working and being a lot faster. We'll see. So I think one of the, the problem is that um, it's, sorry, I'm having, I barely slept last night, so that's why it's really hard to code today. Um, the problem is Right, that it needs to look up if it has a component. So, has component. Here's, I'm gonna write a has component method really quick. This is has component, EID. This just returns a bool. And then it goes if component is not equal to null pointer what's up Sean Corey thanks man Yeah, so I'm already using unordered map, um, and I think I think what a lot of what's going on here is this dynamic casting. Hey, what's up? What's up? Welcome to the stream, Sean Corey. Okay, so this is the this is the has component function, and let me just check. This is going to be efficient. Yeah, if EID is less than this, that's less than that. Components. Okay. So let's make sure. What's up, Arcane? Oh, that sucks. I wonder what's up. I haven't changed anything on the this Twitch settings. It might be that I'm. So, it's so early. I rarely ever stream this early. So I think this is what the problem was with that. Was that the entities? I wasn't looking up whether the entity actually existed. I'm 
so now this for all entities loop. Oh, what did I what did I break this time? Oh, can I take the address? What? Address of an R value type bool. Oh, dang. Sorry, Marza. I wonder what's up with Twitch. All right, good to know, good to know. What's up, little killer? Um, that all depends on if, it can, if we can get some continuous funding going on for it. So on the Kickstarter, it got it, it got to its iOS goal. So for sure it's going to be on iOS, but it was $5,000 short of its Android goal because Android takes, you know, it'll take a lot more time to put on Android. So um, if I can get some pre-orders for the game that amount to that, I can eat, basically earn the money to have the time to be able to do that, then yeah. Basically, I want to put I want to put Songbringer on as many platforms as I possibly can. So if I can find the funds, it's gonna happen. All right, what the heck? What did I mess up? Has component template class inline static bool has component return gate component eid. This looks fine here. Huh. All right. I'm going to try. Before I add this to this loop here. Oh, oh, oh. Did I just have three addresses? No wonder. I couldn't tell because I was breaking on the end of that line, but there were three ampersands in a row. Okay, cool. That's working now. And then I'm going to rename this variable here to EID max so it doesn't conflict with other variables. So what I'm doing today, if anybody just joined the stream, I'm optimizing the entity component system. I'm trying out this idea of using um, plain old arrays rather than uh, rather than maps. What's up, QLav? Yeah. Let's see. Oh my gosh, it works now. Okay. Collision components aren't working, but at least all the entities aren't totally bogus anymore. Okay, so it's still totally broken, but at least it's less broken now. All right, so if I can, if I can figure out what the heck is wrong with all this. I wonder what the, what's wrong with these collision components. Hmm. <laughs> Fatality. Man, it's been a while since I played that game. Uh, okay, so I have a feeling... It might be due to, oh, okay. I might need to add this entity has component to, every single one of the, one of, one of these loops.
Good thoughts, good thoughts. Okay, so what this is doing is it's breaking the array before, yeah, I can't, I can't do it this way. All right, so I do need to check for the existence of every component manually. So I'm gonna look for everywhere that I'm using this new for all entities thing. And I need to check if each entity is is good. What the heck is up with autocomplete? Why do you gotta put all that in there? There we go. Oh, cool. Nice. Well, I, um, that's good to know that the way I was doing it before with the unordered map was probably fast, but um, I have a feeling this could lead to some more performance improvements. So I'm gonna keep on this path here for a minute. So this is what needs to happen. Each one of these for all entities loops, I need to check. Right, don't we all? Okay, this one, um, auto ref collision equals this. Collision dot is empty. There we go. Oh, well, there you go. Nice. Okay, that one's good. Name component find, same kind of thing. This is a pretty major refactor here. Basically every single entity is affected. And basically what I'm doing here is making sure that each one of these components is not empty because it's possible when looping over these for them to be empty. So if, if e dot render dot is empty, return. No, continue. Okay. Light component. Light is empty, continue. Uh, yeah, that's in, um, in the entity component system. So for me to actually go and move away from using dynamic cast, I have to use these plain old arrays. <clears throat> so after I get all this finished and settled and this actually starts working again, then I can go and make sure there's no dynamic casts. Okay, we'll do 
this one this way. If light is empty, continue. Oh, uh, this is already set up right. Cool. This one's good. No, no, I was just using pointers. But I have to use a pointer. I have to use a, uh, let me show you. I have to use a pointer to, um, Components. See, I have to use a component pointer to a component instead of a pointer to the actual component. So, you know, for example, profile component is a subclass of entity component. And when I actually create the entity or this, when I create a profile component, it's created with like this. We create a new profile component. And that actually eventually gets put into this function here, add component. But add component C takes a component pointer because the, the whole big old array which holds all of the components is a component pointer. So I have to basically um, dynamic cast back to a light component when I get the component out of there. So because I've now moved everything over to these plain old arrays, I can actually use a, um, um, I can actually use static casting and or just making all of the sub arrays, actual arrays of light components versus components. And that will save all the dynamic casting. Hope that makes sense there. Sorry, I'm, I'm really tired. I basically haven't slept enough today because I was worried about this stupid Dentist appointment I have to go to today, so that's why I'm kind of out of it. But I I hope that makes sense. Um, okay, where where was I? What was I doing? Uh, oh right right, fixing up all these. This one's good. Light is empty. Continue. Yeah. And continue. Yep, we'll see. We'll see. Need a health is empty. Continue. Okay, that one's good. Move components. Ah, why does it do that? Oh, for anybody that's watching, I did learn something amazing last night that I never really knew. I'm actually embarrassed to admit that I don't, I didn't know of this. Um, but you can actually set conditional breakpoints. So for example, if I wanted to loop through this and I wanted to check and see oops, if a certain um, like if I want to see it, if I want to break only one EID is a certain value, I can go edit breakpoint and then say only break if EID equals one. And then this breakpoint will only hit when there's one. So I used to do the old, oh, the old, the old method was this. I would go if EID 
equals one, then do something here and set a breakpoint there. And that's bad for many reasons. One, because you're modifying your code. Two, because you have to recompile. Um, three, because it's ugly. You know, there's a lot of a lot of bad reasons to do that, or bad reasons to reasons not to do that. So that that's how you can do that. Conditional breakpoints. I was unaware of these till last night. What's up, Felix? Um, I have a I have a dentist appointment today. So this is the only time I can stream today. So I'm kind of out of it because I was I was worried about my dentist appointment all last night. <clears throat> uh, neither did I. Right, right, right. Ciao, Bella. Um. Okay, we're on to this one. That one's good. Well, this one's need to be or. Oh. Or. The move is empty or position is empty. Continue. Okay. Only a few more of these to go. I know grammar is weird, right? But yeah, you had you got it right here. Neither did I. I think that's proper grammar. If E collision is empty, or that, or that. Right? Yeah, oh, it'll be good. It'll go fine. It's just a cleaning. But I don't know. I don't know why I just worry about it so much. Okay, so for this one, it's possible to go like this if entity has component, collision component, DID. And continue. But we're gonna basically do that here in a second, anyways. So I'm gonna comment that out. If attack is empty, continue. Yeah, that's a good one. Like component. Auto ref light equals this if light dot is empty continue. If door dot is empty continue. All right, cruising along. component if not entity has component door component
Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. I wish there was a smarter way too, but item Render Continue. What's up, PJ Partridge? Welcome to the stream. Hey, um, yeah, so it's kind of a weird time for me to stream today, So, but hopefully that's good for you guys. <laughs> Too early. <laughs> Unacceptable. <laughs> Look at this. I'm almost done with this. Well, there's only like five more of these to refactor. Oh. You should be cooking right now. That sounds good. Uh, auto complete, seriously. Okay, that one's already good. Yay. Almost there. If not, profile's empty. That one's good. Render component. If render dot is empty. Continue. Oh, dang. All right, these are all good to go now. Let's see if the if this works, if the engine actually works correctly now, then that's a good sign that this is on the right track. And then we'll start profiling and see if it's actually saving time. All right, so something's weird. Just I think it might have actually walked the player up to that point. Yeah, and then it's just locked. I can't do anything because it's not working. So we need to start the player in a different room. Instant goes to the rescue. Free beer for everyone if this works. Hey, what's up, Red? Red got the end. So it didn't work. Um, no beer, wah wah. Okay, I'm gonna start the player in room, it's just to the side of this one. This is 311, we'll do 411. Oh, cool, collision system's working again. 
Okay, we hit a break point. I don't I don't need these break points. I don't need no stinky break points right now, man. Oh, it looks like it might have actually hurt an enemy. And then it crashed. What? What is this? There should be no more entity at all. There is no entity get all function. Why the heck? Oh, maybe because it's using the entity get all right here. Wait, what? Get all. There is no get all function. This is so weird. How did this even compile? What? Let me do, I'm gonna do a clean. This is really, really, really weird. This function does not even exist anymore. Yeah, Xcode does have some pretty cool things. I just, I just learned about the whole Um, conditional breakpoint thing and you can do that with any type of debugger too whether you're just using LLDB or GDB or whatever Okay. It's, it's true. It's true, man. There's definitely some. Look at this. It, oh, it definitely did not. Oh my god. No wonder there's bugs in this whole system. I can't believe. I don't know how the heck it just allowed me. It's like, sure. Yeah, you can compile this. There's, I know that function doesn't exist anymore, but I'll just let it slide. For all entities, render component. Uh, this is one place I'm calling dynamic cast, but really the main place is right here in entity get. So entity get is based on entity get pointer, and entity get pointer is based on a dynamic cast. So that's used all over the place. Jeez, this is a man. I am. I'm so. I'm appalled. I'm appalled that Xcode would let me compile this. This is crazy weird. If item dot is empty, ah, jeez. Xcode messing with me today. All right, so now hopefully this is one of the last ones to do here.
Whoa. Thank the good Lord, I've never had that problem before. That sounds really, really voodoo-y. Yeah, it's like, oh, weeks, man. Jeez. That's one of those ones that's like, come on. Come on. Xcode. Ooh, is it all done now? Will the game actually work now? Possibly, possibly. Okay, I'm doing one more clean, just for good measure, because I have no idea what the heck the state of the compiler is right now. After that, I kind of don't even trust it. But uh, I'll do one more clean, one more build. And then if this runs and actually works, that's going to be cool. Oh. Oh, man. This is definitely Xcode dropping the ball. Dropping the ball on both of us. All right. Cross your fingers. Okay, looks like collisions are working. Wow, it appears the game is working again. Oh, even got to pick up some items here. It even continued correctly, that's good. I think I might have to defeat all these enemies before I can leave this room. Let's use a bomb. Ah, oh, I died again. Oh, okay. Well, I'm trying to fight these enemies to get out of this room here. I should just I should just set the point. Paranoia is a mandatory trait. I well. He would be wise to say that in this case. Okay, good. Um, wow. Okay, the doors don't open. That's that's a problem, but definitely shouldn't be too hard to fix. It looks like oh, the elevator's working again. That's good. You know what? We are actually at the point where we can safely detect if um, if it actually is working by setting it to the point right here and then going profile. We're ready to do this. Actually, oh, I need to I need to comment one thing out. Um, with the assertions, because the assertions are going to eat up a lot because they format strings, or at least my assertions do. So let me rewrite these really quick. <laughs> Eid is greater than or equal to max Eid, or Sid is greater than or equal to num class IDs. Assert false and return.
Okay. So now we're ready to, ready to profile this. And let's see. This is the moment of truth, Mars of Power. I haven't done any dynamic casting fixes yet. So this is just a pure unordered map versus array. So I need to go for 10 seconds here. I don't know if that was a whole 10 seconds. Let's see. Oh, just about. Okay. Let's get all this data. 10. We need to select exactly like 10 seconds. There we go. What's up, Bill Clutch? I'm working on optimizing the entity component system. What? What do you mean by a version copy of an un of the unordered map version? I do not understand, man. Okay, Mars Power. So yeah, if plain old arrays so far are a lot faster. At least, well, it might not be that the plane on the rays are faster. It might just be that my whole system is working faster now that it's doing doing it this way. So here's here's this is let's look, compare these. I'll show you what I mean. Take a screenshot of this one. Yes, yes, I use Git. Oh, you mean a Git version? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course I have a backup of the of the unordered map version. This is all um This is all I haven't checked any of this in yet, and my last check-in was with unordered map. All of this entire check-in right here is this new version, so I can easily revert it, stash it, branch it, whatever I need to do here. So it, it's it is appearing that this is faster already. It might not be that the, it's that the plain old arrays are the thing that's faster, though. Ah, right. It's a good example. Good analogy. Good analogy. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice usage of Italian cars. Yep, yep. So okay, um so the f This is the one. This is the one right here that's really really important to take a look at. Get collision at, of of the 10 seconds. Actually, let's do one more. Let's do one more run just to see just to double check. Did it record? It didn't record. Or did it? I think it did. Okay. So I'm selecting 10 seconds of time. Roughly. Okay, so get collision is taking, yeah. So it's taking a whole second less with this new system. Yeah, it cra it's crazy annoying, but it's worth it. Oh, you mean just playing that? Oh yeah, playing that's hard because what I'm doing here is I've got 30 different blobs on the screen running around so that they're all colliding with each other and there's tons of calls to this collision system. So I'm just basically kind of trying to overload the system here and that's I'm just doing this all to improve the performance of my entity component system. A P2P system? No. Nope, there'll be no player, there'll be no um, multiplayer, no no real-time multiplayer networked. There will be local co-op, though. 
So is that right? Let me just let me check this. After 37.24 milliseconds, is that right? 31.47. Thirty-one forty-seven. Yeah, that's a whole th one point three seconds faster. That's actually a lot faster. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to make it a lot, a lot faster. And I think if I can get these dynamic casts out of there, it's going to be even better. So let's go. Let's let's step into these methods. Actually, oh, I want to check one thing too. The before I was checking it, I was checking get collision. Yeah, okay. I was all right on get collision. So yeah, we're already at 1.3 seconds faster. That's an improvement for sure. The game isn't completely working yet, so I should actually be checking that stuff. But I know the collision system is. But um. So yeah, look at this. Dynamic cast is still taking up a lot of per hit. It's a huge performance hit. So let me um, let's do let's take the next step here, and that's to use static cast instead of dynamic cast. Um, because static cast, because I know these components are correct, I can static cast them. So once again, let's do a product clean because we have no, I, I don't even trust Xcode at this point because it was, because it was messing me up all day today because it didn't, it didn't clean the build. So we'll see. I hope this works. If this actually improves the performance even more, that'll be huge. Um, I think static cast is, is a lot faster than dynamic cast. If not, there's also the C style cast, and the C style cast should be really, really, really fast. Okay, let's do this. Profile. Uh, hopefully that was 10 seconds. Let's see. Looks like it's not. Let's see it one more time. Just trying to avoid these blobs long enough to have 10 seconds worth of play. But it's freaking hard. Ah. Uh, you know what, that's good enough. This one I did 10 seconds, all right. So let's grab, yeah, let's just grab this time here. 10, 0.03 is fine. Whoa, look at that, look at that. It's way faster now. So let's take another screenshot. Um, this is, What was it? 18.30. So it went from before, before I did this optimization, I was using unordered maps and dynamic casting. And it was taking, of the 10 seconds as I selected, it was taking 4.4 seconds to do, just to do get collision in this really, really busy room full of blobs. Um, and afterwards, with both of these optimizations in there, using plain old arrays and also static casts, we, we're now at 18. So, how much faster is that? 4424 divided by 1830. That's already. 240% faster. 
Yeah, see, that's the problem. Like, I don't, I don't think I can use maps with plus a static cast. Well, I guess maybe I could. Yeah, I guess I could use maps plus static cast. I just never really tried it because I, I was afraid. Let's try it. Let's try it, Marge Power. Um, I need, okay, so that means I need to do a branch or something. Or just copy the code. All right, let's, let's back all this stuff up because this is a really, really, this is a lot of work. Um, and I don't really understand Git branching very well. I've always, I've always fumbled with Git, with Git branching. So let me just make sure that files have changed or that, 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 that. Okay. Uh, git flow? What's that? Yeah, yeah, I know that's it's that simple, but how is it that is it just as easy to like switch back if I break something? It probably is. Let's be I'll be brave. Wait a minute. No, first I'm gonna back things up. Cause you never know. I might mess up a git command and then all of a sudden all my code's gone. That would be horrible. Yeah, I've got source tree. I got source tree, I just don't really I can check out back to master. Right, right, right. Okay. Let me just back it up just to be sure. And then I'll try that. Huh. I've never heard of git flow. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go to projects. I think I can just back this up here. Yeah. There. Here's my new ECS. Okay, so So that's not going to ruin any of my files, right? Okay, I think I can check this in. Uh -huh. Okay. Man, this is a big refactor. Okay. I'll commit this then. Ah.
Oh man, all this stuff's so confusing to me right now. But I will I'll read this later on. Probably it'll make more sense. So I just git commit all this, right? And I've commits it to this branch. Uh, whatever. I'll push it later. Um, git log. Now I want to go back to this commit. Or can I just go git checkout master? Yeah, that's that's right. Okay. Now we're back to this one with git checkout master. And this is the unordered map version. And um, first thing I'll do is clean the build. The next thing I'll do is build the build. <laughs> and then um, I'll do one profile just to make sure it's um, it's still giving me the four seconds. And then the next thing I'll do is go um, do another profile. And I'm going to get a drink of water real quick while this is compiling. All right. What's up, Sohu? So I'm gonna profile this again. This is with the the old system. Oh, we gotta force all the enemies to be blobs.
kind equals zero, and we want a ton of them. I think 30. Shoot, I forget what I did for these. Let me, I gotta double check this because this needs to be exactly the same for these profiles to be accurate. Thirty-seven. Okay, it's thirty-seven. Oh, it was good. It was great, man. Yeah, I got to see um this amazing band. Got to see all my friends, and um had a great, great weekend. So, how about yourself, man? How's your weekend? Okay, we have blobs. Now I can go profile this. I'm just double checking these results. All right, that's good enough. Yeah, you can tell it's just maxing out. So yeah, oh wow, look at that. This run, it was even higher. So we're talking, this one was before was 4424. This one's 5138. That's huge. Okay, but to be fair, now what we'll do is we'll use the dynamic cast, or the static casting instead of dynamic casting. So um, let's save a screenshot of this. Just do this one also as before. Eating, sleeping, fishing. <laughs> nice one. Okay, so to be fair, Let's turn on turn off the dynamic casting. Um, and also, let me clean the build. So, to anybody that just joined the stream, what I'm doing here is I'm optimizing the Entity Component System. Um, I've got a whole branch now in Git where I've got a whole this new system that uses plain old arrays and it uses static casting. And so what I'm doing is I'm comparing it versus the old one. Um, the old one uses unordered maps instead of plain old arrays. I'm comparing it versus the old system just to see, just to double check. You know, one more time, this is actually faster. Okay, let's select 10 seconds. And yeah, wow. Okay, so the new system is way the heck faster. Even using, even taking out the dynamic casts. Wait, why is it still using dynamic cast? Never mind. Where did you actually call this? Oh. Because the collision system has some dynamic casts. But that doesn't matter, I didn't change that in the old one. Wow, this is so much faster.
Okay, so it's still it's still nowhere near as fast as the new this new version. So this new version, I'm, only, I'm at like 1830, and the old version, even with dyna even with static casts, is at 4957. So still, this is um, 4957 divided by 1830. It's still almost 300 percent faster. That's crazy. Yo, what's up, Wolski? What's up? I'm up optimizing some code here. This is pretty tedious stuff, but I'm all I'm all done now, actually. So that's pretty good. I do need to fix up a couple bugs in the the new system. All right, there you have it. This is with dynamic casting or with static casting. Yeah, doing math today. My brain hurts. Uh, wow, I'm so, I'm, I'm amazed, I'm amazed. Forty nine five seven. Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna switch back to the new system and double check once again that this is all faster. And I have some ideas how we can actually make things faster in the any component system here. So let's switch back. Uh it shouldn't. It shouldn't. That's actually a good question, Crashnell. That's actually a very insightful question. Thank you, Crashnell. Let me think about that for a second. JFK, what's up, man? Yeah, sorry about that. I uh, I usually stream at 4 p.m. my time, so four hours from now, but I have a dentist appointment today. So. Oh, you know what? I finally come up with a good answer to this. Okay, so Crashnell, and also Mars Power. Mars Power is wondering about this the whole time. Um, the reason this is so much faster is pretty obvious because every time I'm going through, uh, it's not just looking up one thing in the map. So it's looking up everything in the map. So for example, if I have 400 different render components I need to render, um, with the old system, I would get the map for those 400 components. I would loop over every single one of those items in the um, in that map. So 400 times is looping over every single one of them. But then it goes and um, looks up for every single, every single time, every single one of them, it looks up. So it looks up 400 different times. And 400 different map lookups is way slow compared to 400 different just array accesses. So obviously this new system is way the heck faster. Sorry I couldn't I couldn't actually articulate that earlier Mars of Power. I'm not, I don't know if you're still watching Mars of Power, but that's why this new system is so much faster cuz there's way the heck less looking up. In fact there's no looking up. Is there a bad guy in the game? Yes, there is. And I don't want to tell you too much about him because I want it to be a surprise. Yes, Crashnell, that's the, that's the way this old system does already work. It's storing components in their own maps per comp component map type. See this? Um, this is a component map type right here, but uh, the component map type the components is a is an array of component map types, so they're already done that way. Yes, Mars of Power. I was just explaining um, why it's so much faster this this new way. Um, the reason it's so much faster is because the old system. Yes, you're totally right. Looking up in um, in a map is way faster than looking up with an array, but the way my old system was working is that it was looping over every single component and looking up in the map for every single component. So 
if I had 400 different, um, what? No, no, you wasn't. Oh, oh, yeah, we were offending Mars power. No, no, no. Um, so it was, uh, it was doing 400 different lookups in their, into the, the render component map, for example, just for render components. And then, um, with this new system, it loops over those 400 components and easily accesses them from the array. So there's basically no looking up going on in this. That's why this new system is so much faster. Uh, because, let me show you. Um, I'll just do one example here of like a render system. See this? It has to, is it loops over? Oh, oh, I was so confused there for a second. I'm like, why is there still get all? But this is the old version. So this is the old version. This get all function returns a map. This is a component, a map, an unordered, unordered map of entity number to component pointer. Exactly. Array is way faster for iterating. So that's exact that's what's going on. This it's iterating over every single render component. See this? And then it has to do a bunch of different things in this system for entities based on their render component, also their move, their position. There's a lot going on. So that's why it has to load a system int for each one of these entities. So that's why it's so much faster. Yes, 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 exactly, exactly. So that's why this, this system is so much faster. I hope that makes sense now. Let me, um, let me check out. Do I just do new ECS? Oh no, I think I need to go. Is it like this? Oh, that's fine. Projects, glasses, entity, dot H. Um, no, I mean, even a vector is going to be a tiny bit slower than a, a, well, I guess I could use vector. Yeah. Yeah, that's Mars Power. I was already doing that. That's that's already how it worked in the old system. Yeah, I have a feeling Rogothian that a vector is going to be a tiny bit slower than an array in certain senses. Like, you know, a plain old array is just plain old array. It's gonna it's gonna be raw, faster. There, let's see if this this worked. Oh, good. Oh, thank the good Lord, it's still how it should be. Let's clean, build one more time, profile it again, and then I gotta also fix the bugs. Right, right, right. Can you borrow a copy of my source code? Um, actually, I'm thinking about putting this on uh, GitHub. I said I would a long time ago, but uh, I was always waiting to do this this very optimization right here. So now that this optimization is done, maybe I will put it on GitHub. I mean, I'm talking just about the entity component system. All right, so I'm gonna do one more run just to make sure that uh, I wasn't fooling myself or anything. And then I also need to fix the whatever bug is causing the doors to not open. Right, that's what I was talking about. The function overhead of calling, just calling vector.size it would be one tiny, tiny overhead, but it would make a difference if you do it over and over and over and over. Uh, 
Um, but just to be clear, I'm never going to release the source code for this game entirely. But I will, I'm thinking about releasing this entity component system. But I am thinking about making this game very hackable. So, so that you can easily like hack the game. Did that work? No, it didn't. Okay, let's, let's profile again. That didn't profile for some reason. Let's see if we got 10 seconds. Yeah, all right, we got 10. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, that's big of you, Crash Null. Big of you to admit that there might be a tiny overhead. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Oh, wow, look at that. So now the render is taking more time than the update, which is what I wanted. So this is good. This is a good start. I just need to fix whatever bugs are left in this new system. Yeah, okay, it's way the heck faster. Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to learn too. I'm trying to learn what I'm trying to learn what the heck is why this can be fast. Why this is faster? How it can be even faster than this? Yeah, look at this. Get pointer is so much faster now with those static casts. I wonder if it could be even faster if I use a C style cast. Oh, and there's a few points where I think I'm still using a dynamic cast with this old system here, or the new system. So let me, just, let me get rid of these dynamic casts. Should be one place in system where it's still using. No, it's not. Oh, I could have sworn. I could have sworn there's a dynamic cast or two in here. Dynamic. Oh, maybe I already refactored that in this one. Okay. Um, well, let's let's try a C style cast. See if that actually improves it. I'm not. I don't think this should improve the speed at all. But let's let's check. Okay, once again, I'm cleaning the build. Got my dentist appointment in. I gotta leave soon ish. Yeah, I gotta leave kinda soon. I think I gotta be on the bus by. One, one thirty. All right, so now that it's done compiling, I'm going to profile it.
Yes, I'll show you the actual result. And um, I'll do it again. Wow, you can even tell it's a lot faster because the blobs in the old system were like really slowing down. Okay, so here's a new system, 10 seconds worth, ah. Oh. Why does it keep, oh, there, look at that. It opened it up. Yeah, so a lot, not much, not even faster with the with the C style cast. But yeah, let me show you, so, um, I'll show you Crash Null, the actual screenshot I took. So here's, um, this one is with, um, with dynamic casting right here. It took a whole 3.1 seconds. And with static casting, it took 1.8, or now in this one, 2. So roughly about two seconds. So that saved a good one. That saved a whole second just switching from dynamic casting to static casting. And let me show you the actual stat here, why it's taking so much time. You can see, oh, uh, it's, not, it's not showing it on the actual screenshot. Okay, I'll, I'll do a rebuild and show you. So C style cast, that didn't improve anything. And so since C style casts are bad anyways, I will turn that one off and just use dynamic cast. So let's do another clean and rebuild and I'll show you a profile with this one. And then, then I'll start to fix some bugs. Other, I might actually have to start going though. What time is my appointment again? Uh, C style casts are bad because um, they're brute force. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll get going when I when I gotta get going. Um, why are C style casts bad? My brain is not even working this morning. They don't take more memory. They're just they're just so brute force that they're they're really they're not recommended at all to use, so see here, any C style cast is potentially a bomb since they're hiding conversion warnings. That's a big part right here. They hide conversion warnings and they silence the compiler. And here's a great example. So that's just, that's gonna, that's memory access error, but there's another, what? They're just bad. <laughs> right, yeah, compiler checks. Yeah, I, I wish this fact, uh, this this link would work because this looked like it was a good one. But, um, yeah, they're basically just bad. <laughs> Sorry, I can't really explain myself today. Art Games, what's up, man? Yes, right. That that's that's one way to put it for sure. They're definitely they're dangerous overall. So here's the here's the I'm gonna profile the the new system once again with dynamic casting, and it will should be about a second take about a second longer. All right, let's get 10 seconds of time. Yeah, see, so it's a whole second longer with dynamic casts. 
And that's because look how much time these dynamic casts are taking. That's 5.8% of the time just in this function call alone. <laughs> yes, it is. So you're a friendly stream today. Right. Oh, great analogy, Mars Power. Great analogy. You're using a C style cast is like being able to shift from first to fourth gear. Yeah, you got that, Crashnell? See, so yeah, yeah. So look how much time dynamic casts actually use. If you're using them over and over and over, in this entity component system, I have to use a lot of casting. So that's it. We've proved it several times over. This new system is a lot better using static casts and plain old arrays for for the important part of this all that we learned today, all of us learned together, was that if you're looking up and you're accessing the data of an array, it's much faster to use a plain old array than a map. But that's only if you're getting the data from the array as well as you're looking up. Okay, so I'm going to recompile. Actually, I'm going to delete the things that this system doesn't need and once again I'm gonna recompile all so product clean and the next thing I can do before I go is to try and start working on getting these doors to work again yeah the new array there's really not much to it this is a Mars Power PC I love how you guys interact. <laughs> Speak and spell. Yeah, okay, so let me show you this. Um, so the new system works like this. Um, it stores all of its components into a triple array. So there's component, pointer, 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 components. And then um, in the, when you actually add an entity, it's the same the same thing it does. Like when it adds an entity, all it's still just a locating a new entity like this, for example. It look it locates or sorry, I'm talking about components. It locates the new component with new, and then it passes into entity create, which eventually calls entity add component. An entity add component is very very simple now. It basically just takes the the class ID and the entity ID and that's what these these two this this triple array is for so the first the first um, pointer is to a an array of um, big ar uh, array it's the array that holds the class IDs basically so there's or you know the component IDs so there's like profile component render component all the different components, that's the class ID, the SID. And then the other thing is the entity ID, the EID. And so it just accesses the array really simply like this. You know, even though it's a triple pointer, it uses the array notation access for them. And it can store a pointer to a component inside there. But even though I know this is guaranteed to not actually be a component pointer, it's actually a, it's not guaranteed. But so this is kind of janky code in the sense that the static cast is not totally accurate. It really should be a dynamic cast to be a proper, um, you know, system. But this is the this is a speed improvement because I know in my code that I'm using all proper components. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Yes, crash null. That's yeah. I was thinking I had to do that, but I didn't to to actually try this out. But yes, that what that would do to help. Um, that would uh make it so I wouldn't have to use static cast. So um, that probably would be it. Wouldn't be much faster. Um, but. Yeah, I guess it would be a, a there would be no more array index. So that probably that might look up a little faster. You're right. That's actually a good point. Good question, Crash Null. I should um I should try that next. 
but I do want to get, I do want to try and fix this bug with the doors. Yeah, Black Iron, right? Super early stream today because I got a dentist appointment. That's the that's the trick, Crash Null, is how to make it so I can actually make that generic enough so that I can use it for this entity component system. Is if I have all these separate arrays, you know, am I going to go if the SID equals one, then look at this array. If the SID equals two, then look at this array. You know, or I could, or I guess I could have a Make each one of them individually different arrays, but then make uh, the pointer to the array generic. It's a it's an interesting question. Uh, art games. This is a one time thing. So I have a dentist appointment today. I'm I'm normally not even awake this early. This is like before noon, man. <laughs> I I do actually wake up at noon, so. Yeah, yeah. So let me let me try and get the actual door component to work. And I got about I got about five to seven more minutes left in today's stream. So um, in about five minutes, I'm gonna have to shut this down. But let me see if I can get the doors start to start working. Uh, you think it might not be faster to even do that extra? It might not be because then yeah, we'd have to like. Do some crazy lookups for just the just the um, just to get the right component map, you know. Okay, so the next thing doors. Why aren't doors opening? Let's go to the door system. Oh, I think I may have found it that fast. I was looping over attack components instead of door components. Oh, yeah, see, they might actually, right? Yeah. So, but then it all depends on how they look it up too. Like if you're trying to get to the positions array, how do they do that lookup, you know? Are they actually storing a pointer? Well, it sounds like you really know your stuff, Crash Null. So, let's see if this works. This, this is looking, looping over door components now. If I can open doors, then man, I'm, I'll be stoked. Oh, doors open again. Yay. All right, so that was an easy bug fix. Yay. Well, I guess this means that the whole the whole I'm sticking with this. I can tell the game is still kind of slow with 37 blobs on the screen. So it'd be it'd be nice to keep on profiling and see if I can actually fix some more stuff. Ah. Yeah. Yes, it works. It works. I can't believe it. Let's do one more profile and see if there's some obvious stuff like that jumps out that can be done to make it even faster. Beer for everyone. Everybody beer. Beer me. Beer me. Okay, so I'm gonna just get another 10 second run going. And. Oh, that's an idea. 
Good idea. Good idea. So let me select 10 seconds of time. That's good enough. Yeah, we're still rocking it so much faster. 1800 milliseconds as opposed to like 5000 milliseconds with the other system. So let's see if there's some, some real like low hanging fruit. Like for example, this one, get wrecked. I wonder if there's something I can do. Get vec 2 x is taking that much time. Wow, that's a really simple method. So int vec2 is just an integer vector class I got going on. And that, um, that's here in kit. Here it is, int vec2. So the get vec2x is just returning x times the visor. So it's a simple multiplication. But it's also casting. It's casting x to a float and then multiplying it by a divisor. Oh. I wonder if this would be faster if instead of I did times k divisor, if I did um, because k divisor is a double in this sense. Um, times k divisor, if I did divided by float k multiplier, I would expect this to be slower, but let's, let's give it a shot. The phones are going to... Okay, so what this is going to do is hopefully this will improve the speed of get back to x, get back to y, get width, get height. What's up, Mac McDev? Yes, I'm working full time on Songbringer. Thanks to you all for supporting me on the Kickstarter. So I worked for about four months on Songbringer without any funds. Um, I basically made no income for quite a while because my, my one, I had a business selling game engines, but it just didn't do, hasn't done so well in the last few years. So I wrote this game kind of on, on my own love, my own labor of love time. And then um, thankfully the Kickstarter just, just finished up um, last week and um, it was successful. It got funded, so now I have the funds to continue working on Songbringer full time. I think I forgot to actually profile that, so let's try it again. Profile. I hope this, I hope this actually works. This is faster. Uh, so there's definitely some bugs still left in this. I don't know why the heck this is crashing here. Phase death tick. You know what? I feel like I've seen this bug before, though. Okay, I'm going to take a screenshot of this. So I remember to try and fix that later. Nice! Thanks, Sean Corey. Yeah, I've got to fix up the website and get it all better now, because basically it's a it's a continual um, campaign. If people are pre-ordering, like if you pre-order the game now, 
I'll count that towards the um, towards the totals so that we can keep on working towards stretch goals like the Android version, the PlayStation 4 version, the Xbox version. If people pre-order the game enough, I'll count that towards the um, towards those totals. Okay, so I do got to get going here, but let me just see this one last thing. Infect 2. Is this any faster? Doesn't look like it. Actually, I think it's slower. This is now taking 10%, and I believe it was taking about 5 or 6 before. I don't remember. Anyways, that's it for today's stream, you guys. Um, I hope you had fun diving into this crazy code land with me today. This has been pretty intense going through and profiling the whole new this new entity component system. There's obviously still some bugs. It's, it crashed there in the in the uh, the continue screen. So I gotta keep on working on it to make sure you know, there's no new bugs with this new system. But overall, it's a heck of a lot faster. We're looking at almost 300% faster in its performance yeah what's up sumus yeah i'm sorry i'm just finishing up here i got a i got a dentist appointment i gotta run to so i wish i didn't but yeah yes yes totally yeah multi multiplication is always faster but i had a i had a feeling that it was using doubles so you know maybe it was not um maybe it was because it was doubles so, but I guess it wasn't. So, um, yeah, so that's it, you guys. Thank you for, thanks for watching, and thanks for the great comments and everything, too. So, oh, sorry, Sumas. All right, you guys, so I'll be back um, at the normal time tomorrow. Normal time for me is 4 p.m. PST, which is about three hours from now. That's usually when I get started. So I'll be back again tomorrow. And once again, thank you all.